Hey, I'm here today to go over the hollow position with you guys. Um, the hollow position is one of the essential positions that you want to learn um, for core stabilization. This is going to give you the best bang for your buck to get those six pack abs along with the strength in your core and stabilization to lift heavy loads in your squats and deadlifts and even do the fun stuff like some gymnastics, handstands, and walking on your hands because it's going to stabilize your core. Um, this is one thing that many people overlook and skip over. They just kind of do sit-ups all day long. They forget that your abs were built to resist flexion. So they weren't built to actually crunch up and down. They were built to tighten up and just stay nice and tight so you could lift heavy loads. Um, so what we're looking for when we do a hollow position is we're looking for a slight rounding in the back, right? So if you see me from the side, what we're looking for is to crunch the abs, right? So we wanna think like we're just trying to bring our rib cage to our hips, right? We're literally just going to crunch the abs. I always tell people, act like somebody's gonna punch you in the stomach and you're gonna kind of take it and crunch in and try and tighten up that stomach. That's what you're looking for. So the lower back gets pushed in and the ribs come down shoulders slightly forward and that is a strong position in the core okay a good way to find this and feel this is to find yourself a rope or i have a band here um, and put it behind your back try and pull it out and see what that feels like right so we take the rope or the band we put it behind our back and this is going to be just i mean not in the very very base of the back but slightly above that, okay? So it's gonna be slightly above the base of the back. Okay, and we're gonna come over here and we're going to push our backs against the wall, okay? And as we do that, right, we're gonna pull this out and the band or the rope should not get pulled out. If I let that go, the band will come out, okay? So we're trying to stay nice and tight in the core as we do that. Once we can feel that, once we feel what that feels like against the wall, then we can move it down to the ground, okay? So what we can do is take that, what we learned on the wall and pushing that lower back in and come down to the ground. And on the ground, we're gonna do that same thing, right? We're gonna get in a crunch position. We're gonna bring our knees up and basically we're just gonna reach for the toes or reach for the heels. We're gonna come up and crunch, right? So now we feel that lower back pushing into the ground. That's what we want, shoulders off the ground. We shouldn't be back here like this. We wanna get up into that position, okay? You should be able to hold for about 30 seconds. Once you can hold for 30 seconds, then we will slowly start to bring the legs out. I usually tell people it's about four stages out, right? So you'll go about a quarter of the way out, halfway out, three quarters, and then all the way out. Each position you should be able to hold for 30 seconds before moving to the next position. So we start in this crunch position here. If we can hold, right, the next step is we take that crunch position and move it out here. If we can hold for 30 seconds, then we do the same thing, move out, hold, and finally all the way out, right? And ideally in a gymnastics movement like a hollow is you want the toes pointed, right, legs straight, and in that nice position as we reach, okay? Once that, you can do that for 30 seconds and you've achieved that. The next step is to bring the hands up overhead. Okay, because that changes the leverage where I bring my weight over my head here. So we start here, right? Out, once we're here, we can slowly bring up, hold, right? Once we're good, all the way back, right? We want to make sure that we don't end up with that lower back coming to the ground, right? So it's always keep those abs nice and tight, keep those shoulders off the ground. Okay, this is very essential. I would spend a lot of time working on this and mastering this. This is gonna give you a better bang for your buck than those crunches. They'll make your abs come in a little more and they'll help you in your lifting too. So work on it guys. Hopefully we'll see you guys next time and have a good day.